Chris Hero signs with AEW. Plus, the reason for Dominic Mysterio's NXT title win may have been revealed. And WWE are bringing back another classic event. It's all in the wrestling news right now. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> I can change your anything. Chris Hero! <laughs> that was perfect. What a spot on. Can't, would you believe we rehearsed that for four days? Chris Hero is on the books. PW Insider, confirm it. Oh yeah, they certainly do. We're getting straight into it. Chris Hero is now officially on board full time as a producer for AEW. PWInsider.com is told. Hero has gotten high marks from those we've spoken with. Uh, Hero first worked uh, with the uh, sorry. Uh, Hero worked the first AEW Collision sorry in a producer role on a trial basis and received praise for the job he did. Whilst Chris hasn't wrestled since 2020, there's no indication that this role will see an in ring return. There was a lot of love when it was discovered that Chris Hero was behind the scenes at the first collision, a behind collider, if you will. Uh, <laughs> and I, I like to think that he will continue to do some great work there. They've really yeah. had a good eye for producer types. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff has been said about that this week. We know that Scotty Too Hotty was working backstage at Dynamite recently. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we know Orange Cassidy's been taking on more of a road agency producer type role. Bret Hart was d declined. <laughs> and Chris Hero now is, is behind the scenes too, especially with them having Ring of Honor under their wings as well. Like oh, a guy absolutely. who is synonymous with Ring of Honor. Absolutely, absolutely. And someone who's had uh, history with, with a few of the people on the Collision roster as well. Obviously, you know, he had a big rivalry, I believe, with CM Punk way back in the day. Um, so it's nice that, you know, they've got these people, uh, I'm assuming people that the talent themselves trust as well, obviously, too. Like Chris Hero seems to be just someone who is a beloved figure within mm. wrestling as a whole. So uh, this, uh, it's an amazing get for AEW, absolutely. We call them colliders in this house. We call them colliders in this house. We certainly do. Okay. Uh, let's move over to Tuesday night. Uh, Dominic Mysterio shocked us all. Dirty Dom got his dirty mitts on the NXT North American title a few weeks back. Uh, Shawn Michaels in a media call last night ahead of Great American Bash on Sunday may have given some indication as to why Dom is spending more time Time working Tuesdays. Uh, Sean says that Dom has, a, has done a wonderful job in NXT and allows him to work on the things to, that he wants to work on and have more freedom and a looser structure on NXT. He can find out who Dom is, says Sean, when separated from his father and work on anything that he or WWE feels he needs to work on. He's had a lot thrown at him, says uh, as Dom, uh, but Sean Michael says he's done a fantastic job thus far. Now, this to me would indicate the Dominic Mysterio's current NXT run, as Shawn Michaels is saying there, is an opportunity to hone some of those skills mm -hmm. uh, because he was very much chucked into the deep end. You know, he had, a, you know, his, one of his first sort of breakout match was very early on against Seth Rollins in 2020. Yeah, yeah, which was, uh, yeah, no, I think it was, yeah, him and his dad versus Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy, wasn't it? Mm. And he, as you said, he got thrown in there and he did a tremendous job as well. He, he did an absolutely tremendous he job. He did, but he hasn't had the time to have the seasoning that a lot of other people on the roster have had. No. So by winning the NXT North American title, it gives him the reason to be there on a Tuesday night mm -hmm. and to get him working a little bit against some of the other talent in a way that isn't like a, a an intense, bright lights, well-timed Monday night show. Yeah. And something that is a little bit more loose and fast because it is a developmental brand so it gives Dom the opportunity to, to to sort of find his groove a little bit more there as well yeah which I I think is an absolute the best thing to do especially yeah. for someone you know whose father is Rey Mysterio as well that's a huge shadow looming over you and Dom has proved that he just wants to go out there and sort of just do his own thing and distance himself from that because I think that, that's a really good thing for him to do in terms of you know a lot of people are always going to sort of be comparing him to his dad, Rey yeah. Mysterio, but I think him going out and proving that he can do his own thing away from what his dad has, has built is uh, it's a testament to who 
he is already as a wrestler at such a young age, I think. Absolutely. There was a few other bits and pieces that came from the media call, wasn't there? There was. Shawn Michaels confirmed uh, something that Cody let slip in an interview this week. The American Nightmare, uh, sorry, the American Nightmare mm -hmm. will indeed voice the intro for the Great American Bash on Sunday. Yeah, we thought as much. Yes, obviously his, his dad's dad synonymous. Yeah, yeah, his dad made course. the event. Absolutely. Uh, Sean said he would love to have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in NXT, Ooh. which I wouldn't mind seeing either. I think they'd be great in NXT. And it wouldn't shock me if it's just a matter of time. Yeah. That we do see a little... And I know Kevin, Kev and Sami would be up for seeing that as well. Yeah, definitely. They, you know, cut their teeth in WWE and NXT, didn't they? So And they had, yeah, they they yeah, they their WWE teeth. That yes, grew their through WWE teeth. After yes. their other teeth. Obviously they had lots of teeth. Before you <laughs> kick off. Obviously, yes, yes, yes. Mind you, I don't know whether Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have ever met Kevin Steen and El Generico. <laughs> Two separate people. Two very Completely different people. Completely separate people. Uh Wendy Chu is also rehabbing injuries and still has a ways to go in her recovery too. So we wish her well uh in that recovery. Hope to see her on TV again hopefully soon. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Jack Atkins is crying. He <laughs> is he a big advocate for Wendy Chu? Jack Chizzy? Atkins from the Cold Holic Classic Raw Review and our writer for ColdHolic.com loves Wendy Chu. She's great. She, she is, is very good. She is smashing. She is really good. Big fan of her work and be well very soon. Another thing that Shawn Michaels announced and then WWE confirmed it on their socials that they are bringing back another classic WWE event. NXT No Mercy yeah. will take place on Saturday, September the 30th, emanating from the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California. The first No Mercy event in six years. Six years. The last one was Brock and Braun in the main. That was in Cali as well. Yeah. yeah. Give it to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always like the special <laughs> events that NXT put on. And then bringing stuff back like this is it's always nice. And they always oh, pull yeah. out the bag too. I think we said that multiple times on the news before, but but yeah. It's a nice arc back to the legacy of, of WWE in a way that isn't on the main roster, but pays tribute to it in a, yeah, definitely. a fun way. Definitely. You know? Absolutely. This is a show that goes all the way back to 1999. Us here in the UK, we got the first No Mercy. It was a UK only pay-per-view in 1999. Do you remember them? That was when they used to just put on a house show, but with nicer production and then make us pay 20 quid on Sky Box Office to watch. <laughs> Watch it. Cheers, lads. No Mercy 99, which was Austin defending the WWF title against Corporate Ministries, Undertaker and Triple H. Damn. Um, I do know, you, right? I don't know why. Did you notice this as well when sort of watching back? Because you've been watching back all the all the classic stuff recently. I'm just old. I've been watching it forever. No, no. Well, no, no you're, not, you're not that old. Um, but like... WWE events in the UK back then very foggy in the in the arena, it, like a very dusty. <laughs> Indoor foggy, smoking, mate. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that probably could be it. Eh? <laughs> I'm having a chat while Gilbert's coming out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know whether, I don't know whether it might be a case, and somebody might correct me, where they just didn't have the air filtration for when Pyro went off. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of these arenas are used for like darts, so they don't really need fireworks. True. <laughs> they were quite foggy a lot of the time, and the chants were always better. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Of course, No Mercy was a. Was, there was some great firsts at No Mercy. I believe that Chris Jericho won the, his first World Heavyweight Title at No Mercy 01. Oh, of course, he beat yeah. The Rock. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. did a watch along of that recently on the podcast feed. Uh, myself and Matthew Gray from the Cold Solid Classic SmackDown review. Uh, no Mercy 2000 was when Kurt Angle won his first WWF title. He beat the Rock. the Rock again. Mm. Look at Rock giving back to the business. Uh, there's some littered history, and of course, it is the name of. One of the, the greatest wrestling video game of all time. Dig, dig, diggity. Dig, dig diggity, diggity dog. dog. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, what a time. Uh, speaking of NXT, um, check out the podcast feed right now. I had a lovely chat with the number one contender for the NXT title, Ilya Dragunov, this week. Ooh. And um, what do you reckon Ilya Dragunov hates more? Brain freeze or a burnt mouth from a hot coffee? He strikes me as a coffee man. Ah. So I would say the hot coffee one. Well, you can find out for yourself, because well, obviously the man has a very high pain threshold. So he we, certainly does. We play the Dragon Off Pain game on the Ooh. podcast feed. And also, I asked him about joining Imperium. He gave a very definitive answer which you can hear right now on the podcast feed. And we'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Case, case. All of you, bye. Dig, diggity, dog.